I'm Akwefa Ren Kate. I'm a citizen of the Republic of Benin. I'm uh, a PhD student in civil engineering at Pausti and I'm from the CIS court. Professionally, I have a seven year, years experience in civil engineering and five focusing in roads and bridges design. Currently, I'm uh, doing a research on uh, bio-based material and uh, through this research we have developed a brand called Afanfa. Our main products are holo blocks that are usually used for construction, uh, wall construction, and even for slabs and things like that. And uh, mainly, especially in West Africa, holo blocks are very common. They are used, they are used for wall and sometimes it's just for a function of separating rooms. The construction industry uh, used a lot of cement, and cement has a really big carbon footprint. So basically, in terms of statistic, one ton of um, cement equal to one ton of carbon released in the environment. So we decided to, I mean, transform our research in an innovative idea that can at least uh, bring something that will reduce as minimum as possible this uh, uh, footprint impact. These are the wastes that we use for cement replacement. We have the corn cob, and here we have the empty fruit bunch from the palm tree. And here is the oil mesocarb fibers. These are the main products that are used at the, a certain percentage with different treatment for each of them. And then you produce them a particular ash. What is interesting with this is that we don't need as much energy that we use to produce cement. So in terms of comparison, you can easily see that those waste that we are using are material that are renewable. As long as, as long as people produce food, there will always be those waste there. If you replace the waste at 50% um, of the cement that is used, it is definitely cheaper. We have to come in the lab and develop the product and sometimes we are facing um, some outbreak due to the equipment that are sometimes broken or not available but we found our way around to make sure that we can develop the product using what we have in our hands and we are quite uh, proud of ourselves because at the end of the journey we finally uh, made the product and uh, as you can see we have the blocks here if you have an idea, whatever idea is, is you have to push it as, as much as you can. And definitely you'll find the support, you, you'll find the net network of, of support that you need. Um, what I want to tell to the investors is that investing in research that are happening in a university setup, in a research setup is the best investment that, that they can make, especially in Africa where most of the time research is usually developed and put uh, in a shelf somewhere. It is good to change things now. This is time for changement. It's time to push Africa's innovators so that they can impact and change our business environment. Mm -hmm.